24-year-old Canadian Scott Zeron may be young, but when it comes to his experience as a driver, he's hardly a novice. Recently, this force to be reckoned with on the racetrack visited Dover Downs to compete in some stakes races, and we got to chat it up for the post-time camera. Scott, we're going to start out with that traditional question about being in a family business. Now, your dad is Rick Zeron. He's so adorable. I love him to death, and he is so funny. But, of course, he's a great horseman, so you learn from the best, right? Yeah, absolutely. He's taught me everything I know, and uh, he's been a really patient guy for me. Like, he, uh, I first started driving his horses, and, uh, you know, they were all top-notch horses, and I was a little nervous to, to drive them and see yeah, I mean, I'm inexperienced. I'm going to make bad moves and, and learn from that way. And, you know, he was right there with me just saying, you know, what, what do you think you could have done better in some scenarios? And, I mean, he helped me along great. So uh, he taught me how to be patient too. Of course, you're probably like me, going to the barn when you were little, like cleaning out stalls, water buckets, that type of thing. But when you started driving, you were very young and you were going to school, correct? Yeah, yeah, I went to college, graduated a two-year program in accounting. So, uh, yeah, you know, it didn't. Uh, I was able to manage the schooling and racing, and it, it all worked out perfect. You have been nominated for Driver of the Year in Canada a couple times, and you've gotten all kinds of milestones, so many that I can't remember them all, so that's why you're going to see them on the screen right now. <laughs> and I'm not going to make Scott rattle them all off to you, but I want to hear about your most memorable race. I mean... I'll always go back to my very first win because my, my parents, my whole family, everybody followed me around for each start I had. And it got to my sixth start, and uh, it was a horse that I had actually owned. And, and when I won that race, I mean, it was the best feeling ever. I swept the field, so I come last to first. And it was so exciting. We went to the winner's circle, and my dad, when he had his very first win, all his friends lifted him up in the race. He was sitting in the race bike, and they lifted the bike up off the ground. So we did that with this horse, and it was really cool. Nobody's ever done that, so it's cool. Well, that's awesome. Now, of course, the win that I think of when I think of Scott Zeron is the little brown jug, you know, with Michael's power. And when you crossed the finish line, I, it was like you were completely elated, and it was so wonderful to see. Tell me about that race and what it meant to you. You know, I only had attended it one year uh, before, and uh, I knew how big it was. And I knew it from my dad. He had always told me growing up that, you know, Hamiltonian's up there. But he said, for some reason, that little brown jug is the one race he's always wanted to win. And he just hasn't had a lot of opportunities to do it. And, I mean, I was given a great horse very first time out. And, and uh, the reason I was so, so pumped up was because I knew when that draw came out for the final that when I drew the rail, it was my race to win. And, and when I crossed that wire, it was just all the weight off my back and it was just it was the best feeling ever I mean Casey wanted to win it just as bad as I did so now you can split yourself in two and be in Canada and America you've decided to actually come here and drive which is interesting why did you make that choice and um, now you're here how do you like it you know I love it down here I found a great place to live and I've centralized myself right in between Yonkers and the Meadowlands so we're gonna try and work that out and you know I don't expect things to be really good right off the bat. I mean, I'm not going to get top-notch quality horses immediately, but uh, I'm willing to be patient and uh, put in the hours, go to any track, anywhere that somebody asks me to go. I mean, I'm ready to do the work, and, and hopefully I can work my way back up the ladder. Were you, like, just lying in bed or eating your Cheerios one morning or something and said, hmm, I think I'm going to move to the United States? Like, how did you come about the decision? You know, it was really just a matter of uh, how things have changed in the Ontario and we lost a lot of our slot money and uh, it's just I felt like to have a sustainable career I felt like the move to the Meadowlands had to be made and and even without the change in Ontario I, I felt like if I want to be a Hall of Fame driver at the end of my career I'm gonna have to be at the Meadowlands or in the States so I, you know I just thought that that move had to be made to for the longevity of my career. You know, I'm so glad that you mentioned that. You're talking about, like, if you want to be a Hall of Fame driver, like, that's a goal. That's a lifetime goal. And and when I read about you, you're like me. I'm a goal-oriented type person. I write my goals down. I have weekly goals. I have yearly goals. I have lifetime goals. So you have met a lot of your goals already. Um, well, here it is. This is the end of 2013. So what's Scott Zeron's goals for 2014? 
I mean, I want to be competitive with the best over here. And uh, like I said, it's going to be a tough transition, and uh, hopefully I can pick it up quickly. But, I mean, I'm driving at the Meadowlands. I had 10 drives the other night. It's, it's so exciting for me. I mean, it's iconic just racing against all these guys. And uh, for goals, I want to win some big races. I mean, I, I'd always said I wanted to win the Jug, and uh, the North American Cup's always been at the top of my list. And uh, you know, I, I always set high goals, and uh, I feel like I, I always have the opportunity to reach them. Congratulations on all your success, and I'm so happy that you came to Dover Downs to be in the stakes races and we got to chat it up, and uh, I'll see you up at the Meadowlands. Absolutely. Thank you.